a golden gun. I'm scared. Please. I have so much to give. <laughs> oh my god, get absolutely destroyed, you dingbat! <laughs> What's happening, Guardians? Adam the Hand back again with another Destiny 2 weapon review. In today's video, I'll be highlighting the Iron Banner exclusive shotgun, the Reese Walker. I cannot stress to you how much fun I've had with this thing. It's a lightweight frame, meaning that just like the 7th Seraph CQC, when the gun is equipped, you can run faster. That's what these lightweight frame shotguns are for, running and gunning. Now I know that shotguns got a range nerf several weeks ago and that definitely hurt a bit. I did notice that I needed to close the distance a bit more than normal post nerf. However, the Reese Walker can roll with a perk limited to Iron Banner weapons. The perk in question, Iron Reach. Iron Reach gives a massive plus 20 to range, which can absolutely dampen the blow dealt by the range nerf. But, and this is a huge, massive, gigantic but, First, you need to get a Reese Walker to drop from Saladin, which feels borderline impossible. And then you need Iron Reach to roll in the final perk column. But what if I told you that you didn't need to wait on Iron Reach? What if I told you you could roll another perk that actually makes you more powerful and encourages you to be even more of a reckless, aping idiot like me? What if I told you in the final perk column you could roll my favorite perk for any gun in Destiny? Swashbuckler. Guess what? You can. Dreams do come true. Swashbuckler has been an amazing perk for me when it comes to getting in another Guardian's face. We all know what it does at this point, and I love that after a melee kill, I get a 5 stack of Swashbuckler to run over my enemies in PvP. The damage boost from 5x Swashbuckler is 65%. Throwing 65% more damage on the pellets from a shotgun blast means even at range, if more pellets miss, the pellets that do hit are still doing more damage. So, what's it all mean? It means that you don't need to complain about missing out on Iron Reach, because if you manage to get Swashbuckler instead, you're still going to be a killing machine. Your base range will be lower than a Reese Walker with Iron Reach, but as you get kills with the weapon, your damage boosts from a 1 stack to a 5 stack, and your distance to kill can increase slightly along with it. My build for running a lightweight shotgun is nearly always Bottom Tree Voidwalker for Devour, a pair of Karnstein Armlets, and Blink. Yes, Blink. Blank is a great way to just show up in someone's lap and also provides for movement that can confuse enemies for long enough to get away or to get down to business. With Reese Walker, finishing off an opponent with a gun isn't always the best way, especially for an aggressive build like mine. If I get the kill right away, I only have one stack of Swashbuckler and I'm likely badly hurt by my now deceased opponent. With Karnstein Armlets, I get about 5 seconds of slow health regeneration, and with Devour, if my melee is charged and I get the kill, my health immediately refills. For 10 seconds, any other kill I get brings my health back again to 100, and melee kills with Reese Walker equipped bring me right to a Swashbuckler 5 stack. This means I can get to mindlessly killing, running into groups of guardians, wreaking havoc, and generally having fun at the expense of others. I feel like I've been getting bagged a lot more lately, and to be fair, I probably deserve it. I recently had a 20 kill game with Reese Walker, and I don't mean I had 20 kills in the game, that's not a big deal. I mean I had 20 shotgun kills straight up with Reese Walker. It's the most fun I've had with a shotgun since my 7th Seraph, and that thing crushes. I rolled it with slide shot and snapshot sights, and it slaps. Being in the energy slot, however, that means I have to run primary weapons I'm not as fond of in PvP, so a primary slot shotgun in the lightweight family has been long overdue for me. Next season, I hope to get more into fusion rifles again, as I've missed the glorious days of the Glacier Clasm, and never really got the role I wanted on a plug 1.1, but maybe one day. I also need to do some more work with a Cartesian coordinate, but that's all content for another video. For now, I'm playing mostly solo and coming in at or near the top of my lobbies with Reese Walker in hand. If you ever want to team up, feel free to add me on Xbox, I'm Adam the Hand, and I'd love to slay some bad guys and swap Destiny stories. As for Reese Walker... The only way to get it is to subject yourself to the Iron Banner and hope one drops with the role you want. You might be getting tired of the stale game mode, but there are two reasons to play as of now, the first of which is obviously getting a Reese Walker. The second is that Bungie is adding Reese Walker to the random drop pool in Iron Banner in Season 15, and a larger pool means less of a chance to get the gun you want with the role you want. That is, unfortunately, 
Yeah, the time to play. Is, now, put a smile on your face and get out there, Guardian. <laughs> If oh, you're new good, to dude. my oh, channel, crap. feel free to leave a like or sub if you made it this far and enjoyed the content. Thanks for checking it out. If you enjoyed the content but want to see what I do in a live environment, check me out at twitch.tv forward slash Adam the Hand. And if you must know what I'm doing every single day, shoot me a follow on Twitter. I'm at Adam Dreyer. Don't apologize for playing your way, Guardians. Use what works for you, have fun, and remember that if I catch you it's out on the Crucible, doing it. watch your lips. Oh, that was a... Uh...